Hi, I'm Russell Elliott, and this is GroupMind. GroupMind is a full-stack application that enables users to plan meetups via a calendar and meet with each other via video. We're going to go over the app's functionalities. So first, we have user authentication via Firebase. We use Google Authentication, so we got to sign in with Google to access the rest of the app. Pick an account. Very nice. So we are now logged into the app. We are greeted with this calendar screen. We have a calendar. You know, calendar react and use MongoDB as the back end. Let's add an event. Let's do meeting. Then start date. We'll choose the 20th at 4 p.m. And then we'll end our meeting at the 20th at 4.30. We are going to submit our event. That's nice. Let's make another event called. Okay, new event has successfully. We have Toastify notifications. So we're going to let's see, meeting. I can load. Meeting two. We'll do today from 4 p.m. to today at 4.30. Submit. There we go. So we have our meetings. We already have meetings, so we can go into a meeting. We can also update the information. I think. And then, certainly change the name. I don't know about the dates, but we can certainly change the name. So let's update that. Cool, we updated our event. And let's just say, you know, let's cancel this event, you know, let's, oh, actually, hold on, we can update the times. We'll change the time a bit. We'll change it to 12.45, and then we'll make this, there we go, we'll update that. Our event was updated, so yeah, we can change the name and the time of our event. And then we can also delete an existing event. There we go. There's also search capability. Let's search for meeting. Okay, meeting. I guess these two probably because they both have meetings in the name. Let's do meeting two. When we do meeting two, only this meeting shows up. So to review, we have the ability to in there. That's odd. Okay, so weird little bug I just found. If you clear the search field and click search, none of the events display. To didn't realize that was there. Um, I guess some logic to improve. If no search fields are there. It should display all events rather than no events. To remedy that, I just reloaded the page. All right, so that's the calendar. Oh, also, you can change it to month, week, day. And here you can also see the list of events, like we have a meeting, two meetings. So yeah, you can view the list of events there. There's the profile. Currently, we don't have much in there. I just have placeholder holder text, so once we once you finish that, we'll update that. And there's also a video call where we used Whereby, which is you know, a little service that allows you know, to add video call capability to any app. Uh, we can click to start a video. Get to load. Okay, we can see our camera, we can see our video. Let's test our microphone. Cool. Looks like that works. We are going to join the meeting. Now I'm going to open an instance of this app in another tab. Local host. 
3000. Yeah, I'm already logged in, so I'm going to go to the video call here. We're going to click. Let's see, I'm going to mute myself on this one. Oh, you see here, we can specify which microphone to use. You know, I have my MacBook and I also have a monitor. Um, oh, that, oh, hold on. So that's the default. Yeah, you can specify where your input and output are. We can also just turn off our mic. We are going to join the meeting. All right. As you can see, there's two people in the meeting. You know, there's me and also me. Um, I turned off the audio for my other person, which is myself, because I wanted to avoid any potential audio feedback that would be caused by multiple people. Oh, there I am. See? Okay. And it's also these other customizations. And we also, you know, I've got the mic, I've got the camera. We have the option to share our screen. You know, yeah, like, Wearify comes with all these capabilities, you know, camera, microphone, share screen. There's also a chat feature. Let's test it out. Cool. And let's go to my other screen where I can see the chat. Very nice. You can also see the people. There's also the option to put people in breakout groups, which is nice. Chat, people, just, just me. There's also the option for, yeah, picture in picture, you know, you can do stuff. I guess enough of that, so we've seen enough of this. So we can just leave our meeting. We can either leave room or end meeting for all. We're going to leave the room. We have meeting has ended. You can safely close the browser window. Let's do that. Okay. So now, yeah, and then we can just leave here too. Great. So yeah, we've gone over the calendar, the video call, the profile. We can also just log out. And once we log out, the site is so the site is inaccessible unless you log in, which we have already demonstrated. That's it. Thank you.